All right, guys. I'm gonna do a little vlog of my of my heavy leg day today. All right. So um, already did about a 10 minute um, walk. 10 minute walk plus stretch. Now we're getting into uh, first movement. Usually I do adductors first, but we're gonna go with hamstrings because last time I started with adductors. This time we're gonna start with hamstring curls. So I'm on my third set now. We're gonna get started. So third set, still one up. So now we're at set five, um, and now we're gonna go all out. So as you saw, we set three, set four, nice and chill, didn't go extra hard, felt it well. Now we're gonna go all out, once I feel ready. Final set turns out to be more reps than everything else. So I'm holding it in the tank the whole time till I can burst. All right, second move for today quad extensions. As you can see, I'm gonna start out like what's that? 70 pounds on quad extensions. Baby weight, but new exercise, need to make sure the body gets used to this exercise now before I can just go all out. So, here we go.
know, I'm a huge proponent, you know, of just you got to feel it, you know what I'm saying? So it's not about, that's why I tell you guys, like, not 10 reps, whatever, you know, the set amount of reps doesn't matter. Every day you go in, every day it's going to feel different. So right there, I did a number of sets. Just make sure you get that connection. And then, you know, every day is going to feel different. So because of that, you know, it's all about feel, you know. That was set one, just get it feeling, and then uh, move on from there. So now I, I up the weight, and we're gonna feel it out some more. Set three, weights increased. As you can see, as we start going up, the reps start coming down, but they're slow, controlled. It's all about feeling it in the quad. So now we're gonna go set three, it'll probably be even less reps. By the time I get to the top set, I'll be able to do the most reps of all. You know, because what's the point in doing a bunch of sets with light weight? nothing. You're just working the muscle, not tearing the muscle. So, get to the heavy weight where you know you can tear the muscle and go all out there. But you don't want to just start like that or you could get injured. So set three. Like I said, you know, it's not about doing fucking, I gotta do six reps. I gotta do six to eight reps. No, no, you gotta get in tune with your body and feel it. So, that day I'm getting a work call. Always in the middle of these fucking videos, whatever. Okay, so as you can see now, but all the way at the bottom of the stack, set five, you know, now we put all the energy we have into this set.
Come on. All out there. Move. Move. Get up. So as you saw, that was probably the most reps of all my sets. And uh, I feel good now. So after that, your knees should start feeling nice and warm. And it's a smart time to go do a compound movement. So here we go. All right, guys. So first, or uh, first compound movement, third, full-time exercise we're going with hip press I wanted to do the back machine but there's some nice people on there um, so I'm gonna start out nice and light just one plate sometimes maybe even start out with zero plates like I said it's a new exercise so new warm-up time here we go the weight a little bit and keep going if you can see a nice pattern set one is always a little bit more reps also you know it's so fucking light you want to make sure you're still getting blood to the area and you know the first movement get those joints moving that way as we get heavier we can decrease until we get to our heaviest where we just see what happens you go fucking nuts and uh, hopefully you get as many reps as you can so here we go.
Just the way a little bit quicker. Just a feeling good. I did uh, one plate, two plates, four plates, now six plates. So that's set four. About to go down. Compound exercise usually has a couple sets. Here we go. Oh! 
All right, guys, we're at nine plates now, and uh, we're probably gonna call it here. Finish it out strong here. All right, that felt good. I could go to set seven, increase weight and go to set seven. Sometimes when you're in the, when you're in there, you gotta make a decision. What's more beneficial? Taking this set that my body's already feeling, got a good connection to, and take it heavier, or move on to another compound exercise and start the process all over again. So sometimes it's good to stay longer. Maybe go to set eight and push it because it's all about the damage being done. Yeah, plus the hack squat just got taken again. I'm pushing it. So increase weight. Set seven. You want to set eight or no? I'll move on. 
I need to move on. Yeah, it's time to move on. Can do something else to feel this shit more. Sometimes when you're going super heavy, you sacrifice a little connection. So you need to make sure you get that connection after. Got to go find something else. All right, you guys missed the first set because I was pissed off. Somebody had a band on the shit. It takes forever to get off. As you can see, no weight. Did probably six reps only, very slow with the hack. And uh, I'm gonna get into it a little bit.
I'm actually kind of feeling it. You know, the whole workout is a warm up as well, you know what I'm saying? So we're kind of hitting top set and extra warm. So when you're doing the quad extensions and the leg uh, curls and stuff like that, it's more warming up the knees and the joints for the top set. If you look at the overall workout, you're warming up the legs for the compound exercise, aka hamstrings, quads, leg press, now more compound, you know? So, yes. moving up, feeling better on this, on this move right here. Okay, so if I do my math right, one, two, 
think this is set six or set seven. I don't know. What I do know is I'm reaching top set. Sometimes before top set on something that hurts your back, I'll take a seat. Sometimes the low back gets real pumped, especially in your rebound phase. Coming out of the rebound phase now, I'm at like eight weeks post show, but the low back is still getting pumped. So all about feeling, like I said. All right, so final set is gonna be six plates per side. Last week I did heavier, but hack squat was my first compound movement. So, like I said, move off feel. Every day is different. Now, can't just do hack squat as the third exercise and then do it as the fourth exercise the next week and expect the same. You should switch it up, but you can't expect the same. So always be flexible, be dynamic. All right, my back feels pretty good. That's it, like I say, just feel it out. Don't, don't worry about one and a half, one and a half minutes, I have to get back. No, it's about feel, each set's gonna be different. Yeah, most people also be wearing knee, whether they're trying to put band on the hack squat or put some knee wraps on, knee straps, I don't need it because I train properly, smartly. So my knees don't fucking hurt. Everything, as you can see, is slow, controlled. It's because I'm making sure it's on the leg muscles. That's why I emphasize the connection so much. Connection, feel, all that. You have to really understand. All right, last set here. Exercise four is a wrap. Clean it up, and we'll see you for the next. All right, guys. So I'm about to finish up with some uh, body weight lunges. Probably gonna do uh, just like who knows, ten back and forth for three for three sets. Um, but so right now, you know, again, you need to go off feel. If you still feel like you have stuff in the tank, then you need to do some. Start out with body weight lunges and progressive overload to, you know, maybe a 135 uh, lunge. Slowly get up there. Um, if you're where I'm at and you know you're 100% taxed, then just do the uh, body weight lunges. You can call it there. Um, again, you gotta go out feel. Don't be a pussy. Always push yourself, but also know your limits. So I'm gonna finish up there. Okay. As much as I don't want to do this one. Uh, we're doing hip thrusts, so.
that's that for that. Yeah, that, uh, you know, don't need to do too much, eh? Fuck, the machine sucks cock too. Fucking, so rigged, arsenal equipment. Ooh, we'll see what we got next.